Hey everybody, Amy Satori here, intuitive spiritual teacher, voted best of Boulder for three consecutive years in a row. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I have with me today, Jay Mata from Spiritually Raw. How are you doing? Um, good. Yeah, you too. Um, I we, we just thought that we would talk about kind of where we're at right now in our world in this crazy, crazy time. And I was sharing with Jay kind of some things that I've been going through lately. And I think, um, yeah, I don't know about all of you watching, but maybe if you haven't gone through this yet, maybe you can be prepared for this. <laughs> but I think that what we're going through right now, what it feels like is that your your biggest fears or your, your um, the things that you're still hanging on to before you can like fully enlighten they're coming up and they're being uprooted from the very bottom, you know, any kind of lack belief or any kind of like, if you, if your thing is patience, like mine was, <laughs> Oh, I said was, that's a really good sign. <laughs> I think I've mastered it. I've passed oh, the test. God, God. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're just going through a lot of testing right now, but it's not when the universe is testing you, it's not testing you. It's giving you an opportunity to rise up to the occasion and, and respond differently than you ever have. So in the past, I used to have real lack mentality. Some of you know the things that I've been through in the past. And I just went through kind of an identity theft alarm and, um, and some other things that really, really tested my patients. And um, in addition to uh, getting some spike proteins <laughs> at a drive-thru. So I've really been going through the ringer lately. And um, I realized like after being uh, really jarred by it for a minute, I, I reminded myself, you know, this is this is this opportunity, this is a grand opportunity for you to pull it up by the roots. So what I did in the middle of like my heart pounding really hard and feeling like totally vulnerable, a belief surfaced. I am not fully protected unless I'm enlightened or until I'm enlightened. So that was a big epiphany. I made sure I read, read that down to D. Byron Katie's work on it. Some of these things can be so subconscious. You got to pay attention to those little subtle things that kind of blurp up for healing. But so that happened. And then in the middle of all of this, like angst um, and everything, I, I stopped and I, and I said, wait a minute, fear and excitement are the, are two sides of the same coin. And so I thought, what if I insert the word excited instead of scared? <laughs> and so I did. I, I, it was so awkward at first because I was so scared and I was like, I'm so excited. And I was like, well, well, yeah, that kind of rings a bell a little bit though. Cause it's like, I know that there's ultimately some kind of really cool lesson in this or like, I mean, essentially reorganizing everything in my life and making it simpler and a stronger foundation and like streamlining everything. Right. So there are some really great things to it and great perks. But another thing I was talking to Jay about beforehand, talking to you about is that um, I, I also figured out that, you know, in the, in the true love connection that you guys are energetically connected to this person, um, a lot of times when you need a leveling up and you need to kind of get on the same page, if your person has like 10, 10 bags ready to go on a trip and you have like one little bag <laughs> and you can't leave your partner to carry all those 10 bags when you're about to go on this grand adventure. So um, I was talking to God about it, talking to spirit about it through this whole thing. I was asking so many questions like, why this, why that, why that? I don't understand, you know? And, and, uh, it was a lot about patience, but yeah, this leveling up thing, it's like you take on like five or six of their bags. So they've got five or six bags too. And you guys are a partnership. You guys are a team and you're both pulling the same way going forward. So, um, and yeah, and my, my patience was tested like crazy. I, I, <laughs> I, I joined a site and then I wanted to upgrade immediately. So I called them right away and I ended up being run around for two hours <laughs> through five people who couldn't figure out how to do it because they were in the middle of a company merger. <laughs> and, I was like, and the guy ends up telling me at the end of it, he's like, I got to tell you, like you, like you are one of the kindest people I've ever met. Like anybody normally in that situation that had gone through all that would be like screaming at me, ripping my face off, you know? And so I laughed. I said, thank you. <laughs> Cause I've always been told how impatient I am. So but you're I, you know, it's beautiful because you're, you're given a real life example to help everybody that we're really are. And I, you know, we were talking about that on a show too, Amy, about the, the fact that like, you know, all the, the energies right there. So you can, you can manifest 
personally, this has been my experience. You can manifest both the amazing and you can manifest more of what you're trying to get rid of. But I'm looking at it from the same way you are, which yeah. is it's just showing itself. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's like a the devil haunting you. It's like yeah. the, or whatever. It's just like, okay, get rid of it. You're in a prime position, like whatever the spirit says, we're here to help you knock it out of your life. Just deal with it. We're giving you the courage. We're giving you the we're giving you the the energy you need to just get rid of it, but it's gonna it's gonna show itself. I think it's a very healthy way to look at it. Even sometimes when I'm looking at Amy, it's like when stuff happens where people will approach it as like, oh man, what the hell? You know what I mean? Or like right. that. You know, my instinct is now gone from like I use the word excited. I'm like, okay, wait for it, <laughs> wait for <laughs> it. You know what I mean, I go there with it. I'm like, okay, cool. What's about what what's up, what what really cool things about to happen like very quickly now. You know what I mean? Yes. The clearing of a space, you know, I I, you, know you just got to, you have to look at it that way. I mean, I, I don't should say you have to, it's your choice, no, you you look do. At it, I mean, I, but I think it's healthy. It's funny. You say, it's really funny that you should, should say that. Cause this whole time I said, I don't have a choice. Hmm. I don't want to go backwards into lack. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so it's only forward from here. So I have to absolutely yeah. to me it feels like i not any judgment from anybody or anything else but my own like you have to you don't have it i'm not even allowing me to go down that old road that was way too yeah. painful i don't I mean, even I mean, like that mentality it's so uncomfortable it's like why would you go so how would you put on a pair of old something that doesn't fit anymore and it's all rattled ratted and you know it doesn't even protect you or <laughs> fit you anymore you know, it so, sounds like a cliche, but I can't tell you the amount of times where something happens that you don't really necessarily feel good about it in the moment. But if you take a, just a different thought process on a minute and learn to react to it differently, not give it that kind of energy that, you know, you shouldn't give it. And you know what I'm talking about? It'll 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 propel. There'll be some magical, beautiful things that will happen as a result. Totally. Of that. We're seeing it. We're seeing oh my it. Gosh. I, you know, I'm, I'm in business and I see <laughs> stuff. I'm dealing with tons of people and we see stuff every time we're getting stuff thrown at us. And again, it's just, it's just perception. It's, it's all it is, is no. how we perceive it. Here, here's what it feels like too. Now that I'm tuning into it, as you're saying that, it feels like a fine tuning. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like, you may have a little subtle lack thought, a little subtle lack thought that goes through usually unnoticed, but right now the universe is, is manifesting things so fast and so powerfully that even if we think some kind of an inkling, all of a sudden, boom, it's in our reality big time. And yeah. we're like, oh! <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and I tell people, and we, it's, it's, you know, it's amazing you're saying that because, again, we talked about this before. Like, listen, just be really aware, you know, manifestation is so real right now. It's like so prevalent right now right, wrong, and different, good or bad, you're going to see it, what your thoughts are going to do. You're going to see those pretty fast. So just be very aware of what you're thinking and how you're feeling. And, you know, just really know that because it's happening. People are, there's just so much evidence right now of that just being real time popping in our faces right now. So that in itself is exciting. You know what I mean? The fact that, yeah. hey, we can think it and boom, you know what I mean? We have to wait for years. Yeah, right. The vision board up there, or, you know what I mean? All that stuff. So if you keep in alignment, yeah. And when I started getting excited, all of a sudden, everything started working out. Yeah, I found the perfect person to do this and the perfect per person to do that. And I felt supported, all these people coming forward. And I was like, wow, <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Yeah. So you can totally turn that energy around. And I feel like generally in our world, and we'll, we're going to go there now, <laughs> I feel like true love and on a personal level, so the macro and the micro level, we're going through who can I trust? Who can I trust? Who is really on, you know, who, you know, I think that the government's going through that. I think the white hats are going through that behind the scenes. I feel like if they can just get past that last little, oh, cause they have to make some major, major decisions coming up real soon. And doing that really takes them to be listening to their own intuition, using whatever tools they have to really decipher who could be a double agent and who's, and who's good, who's on the good side of humanity. <laughs> So, and it's happening on, like on the microcosm in so many different ways as well, but that's, that's where I feel like we're kind of at, but once, once there's some solidity there, which I've been doing some like light language blessings and things to clear and to help, I always pray to see the truth in all things, always, and that saved my butt through this time, because <laughs> my mind was open, and I wanted to hear what the truth was, so that's really helped a lot, but um, so how... How is it that we're looking around? I mean, you and I, since we know a lot of the stuff that's going on in the, well, yeah, a ton of the stuff that's going on in the background here. 
like how 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 do like it, it, it feels for us like like we're looking around at i mean we always thought the zombie apoco- apocalypse was like about them like eating your skin off and crazy stuff like that but I'm like looking around at everybody right now going, nope, this is the, this is the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> like this is, you know, people, they're, it, it baffles me that people aren't even looking to see what's in those things that they're putting in their arms. They, they don't look in the agree, ingredients, they don't do any research, or they think going to the, to the sources like Google and YouTube and those kind of places that are censoring. Like, 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 the, like the orchestrators of the event, right? Yes. Um, not- we were thinking about that. And, and then there's a part of me that does think this, okay, because, you know, I got family and, you know, a lot of people talk about, I got my family that's, you know, doing that. And, you know, they just, you know, so they just necessarily not on the same page, if you would. So try, I, I started to try on this thought process. And actually, for me, not only did it help me from the standpoint of just releasing a lot from from like not holding on to it, but also really better relationships too with with the loved ones in my life who disagree with what I'm saying but I tried on this thought process um, is that well, what if they came here in this time, in this planet to do those specific things to help me in my evolution, you know, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, so what if they're actually here to help me? So I'm looking at there. What if they're like, Oh, it's kind of like your turn. You know what I mean? What if, what if we take turns in there? I mean, does that possibility yeah. exist? You know what I mean? And, and, and I, and I think, you know, like if anything in life that we talk about, that possibility could exist. Maybe it was their turn. We talk about, well, you know, we've all experienced, I mean, you hear it more than I do because you're, you know, as your profession in it, but we talk about, well, we've lived this part, lived this part. Maybe it was our turn to be the evolved one in this time. Maybe we're, we're, we're here, or maybe they're just championing the cause for us in a very weird way. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> but, but that, that really is what's actually happening. Oh, right? It's not a division. You know, it's actually, hey, we're actually here to do this and we're just trying to connect the dots. And I think if we can maybe embrace and start to get, I've started to learn how to do this. Like, look, you know, that, that's your jam. I will say this, though. I've seen people take it and and I've seen the effects of it. And it's just it, it's you can you can firsthand. I mean, I'm seeing some very critically thinking sharp people turn into that zombie apocalypse. People I know. And so it does kind of suck to see that. You know what I mean? So but I think you can only go so far at some point. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, can give, you can give it one good shot. Um, you can't keep it on your shoulders. You can't, can't keep it on your shoulders because you know you got you got your you got a journey. We got a journey to do, and you know yeah. we got to like I think we're all working on get clear on the path to figure out what that journey is. Still, right? Yeah, and I think you're absolutely right on. I've been talking about this in the last couple of lives that I that I've done. I do them on Mondays and Thursdays typically for from twelve to two Mountain Time. Um, but in the intro, in the first 20 to 30 minutes, I usually do a talk on kind of what's, what's going on in a way, uh, or anything that I feel is kind of pressing or important that spirit wants us to know. But, uh, so it's, it's like, we're all moving in, we're going through those layers of ascending. And this is just like coming into that non-duality. It's coming into the accepting that everybody has their role. We're going to hear all that. I mean, we're going first through this because we know the truth. So we already are, we're, we're aware of all this, the horrific stuff that we, that we know. Um, but we're also, we've, uh, we've been able to digest it over this time. You know, some people have had 20 years to digest it, but we've been digesting it. And, and now we're coming into a point of saying, okay, so everybody's playing these different roles and it's just, it's just a movie I and mean, it's just a, it's just a play. And if we didn't have the villain, then we wouldn't have this, you know? And I, I have this exercise um, called, thank you God for my misery, where you write at the top of the page, thank you God that everybody is ignoring that this thing is going to harm them, you know, something like that. And then you would list all the benefits and advantages as to why that's a good thing, because that helps you like radically accept it. Like you're talking about. Um, but I think as that, that's where, that's exactly the time we're coming into. And then as we are, I mean, I still keep going through layers of, wow, anything that I watch or listen to, or a song or a sign on the road or a building or, you know, just it's everywhere. And, you know, you start realizing, oh my gosh, you know, it's it. And so I still keep digesting. I'm kind of breaking it down, breaking it down. Um, but then it's like, now we're catching a vision for for going forward we got to be the creators because we're manifesting fast you know so yeah, it's you. like i think we all need to have like something that we write down of i'm so excited like as if it's already happened i'm so excited about what we're creating 
I love that we've done a big cleanup job on the earth and that, you know, the ETs have come and shown themselves to be supportive and loving and that we have, you know, whatever we're, we're hoping for in the future, that we, we be writing it down as if it's already happened. So that it's pulling it. Even when you go through, it'd be a good idea to just write this down, generally speaking, about your life right now, because if you should be tested, like we're talking about, uh, you've got something to go to where you're just like, oh yeah, that's what I believe. Because when you're in the crisis, it, you go back down to that lack of mentality box. There's only these certain types of top thought forms that you're even capable of. So it's like these, you know, you get in with the demons again. And then they nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they kind of frighten you and you could either stay in the box with them or you could remember, okay, bring myself back up. I have new tools. I'm a new person. I can react differently. And then all of a sudden you empower yourself and you're up here, all these different other thought forms and stuff. So if you have a list like that, that you can write down that, you know, what your triggers are, you know, your sensitivities. And, and so you can have these certain affirmations that you'll use that could help pull you back up into that, to the higher box. Hundred percent. I mean, and I like that what you said. I mean, because we talk about it too. Like we just talked about it now. Just like the manifestation is so apparent right now. But you're right. Writing it down is just like the next level of just kind of cementing it, so you're aware of it. The more you know, the more you're going to be aware of it. The more you know, you'll be able to deflect it and really be able to work with the energies right now. Because I think that's the other thing for people too. Is like they're just they don't know how to work with the energies. You know, there's a lot of confusion happening for people. Mm -hmm. So. You know, they're like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm feeling this way. You know, I got this flu, that flu. You know what I mean? So they're just learning how to work with the energies. I, I again, me personally, like just again, we can, oh, right, we can only share our experiences, but it's just really embracing that it's here, really acknowledging that it's here and going with the universal flow, not, not, not being naive about it, but really just really working with it and know that, hey, if something comes in the way, this too shall pass. You know yes. what I mean? Really realize it and think about from that perspective. Everything that's not changes. Yeah, it's totally. everything constantly changing. Let it go. Then it's like the, the old rivers open up more for you. Just don't get totally. stuck on the stuff. You know? hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. It's exactly like that. And when you're in that, like I was having, you know, when, you, when, you're, when, you, when you're feeling almost traumatized by something and you're shaking and you're crying and you're, you know, somebody asks you for your password, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> like, and you can't even. So it'd be, it's good to, to be prepared for those types of occasions and have all those affirmations and all the passcodes and everything, you, you know, know, all ready to roll in a special place. You know what I mean? We were, talking, we were talking to, um, and I was just talking also with some other people. And I think for like us, like what we're, you and I are doing right now, um, you know, we've got, we're friends, we know each other, we've been on the show, and thank you for having me on your show. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, but this in itself, we're really, we're really encouraging people during this time to, if you think that you have something to share, or you've got some valuable messages that are valuable to you, then they're probably valuable to somebody else. Get up and start talking about it like this, because it is yes. highly therapeutic. And you get energetically in the zone. It gets you in the zone versus sitting back thinking about it. Instead of sitting here watching shows like this, step up and do your own. You know what I mean? Yes. Step, up, step up and do your own. You'll start talking it. And I, I, and I got to tell you something. If I could give any credit, I know April says the same thing. It's the show. It's such a healing element. It gets you connected because you're talking through it like we're doing right now. This in itself is just magical healing, right? Um, as we as we go through the process of it, that's what people will experience. I really, really encourage people to really do that. You know, just start yeah. finding the voice, awakening that voice, and it, it, it will heal Ooh. faster as a humanity. We really would. Yeah, and I... It, like um, one of the things that I would advise to you at this time, because there are going to be a lot more people waking up soon. Mm -hmm. uh, waking up means that you start to realize what's what's really going on in the in the world, other than what they're telling you on the news and things like that. Right. There's a much 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 deeper thing going on, um, you know, and a lot of people are waking up to that. Um, and as they as they do, I think it's important to um, you some you have to watch a certain degree of the scary stuff. Or it's, I mean, yeah, it, it's, yeah, the scary, messy stuff, because uh, the agreement that we've made with the, uh, through the Galactic Federation, I believe, and um, oh, that Orion's made through the Galactic Federation is they could control us and do whatever they want with us. They could have their way with us, as long as we didn't know that it was happening and we weren't aware. So that's why it's been so sneaky and the infiltration has been so subtle all through this time until it's come to a peak right now and it's becoming more and more and more obvious um, but it's like, I, I like to just only watch, um, 
if I, if I have to watch something negative or like I dive into follow the cabal and all the, you know, other ex- episodes yeah, and stuff you've done, it's an excellent series. This is a great um, series. You're right. It's very, oh, it's yeah. fascinating. I, it's I, 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 professional. Was, I fell it's down there too. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So, but you know, if you're watching that type of, of stuff as you're waking up, just make sure that you try to watch from an observer standpoint yeah. Try to, to feel the your consciousness, the tingling in your body, the aliveness in your body while you're watching it or, and or you can pull yourself kind of back behind yourself and watch yourself watching it. Because from the observer standpoint, you actually this is this is a quantum finance uh, physics type of thing or quantum quantum mechanics. <laughs> um but basically, it's it's been proven that if something is is watched from that state of awareness, it gets transformed completely. 100%. So it's almost like you're watching through the eyes of God. And as God is watching it, it is totally transforming. So the more of us that watch from that state of consciousness, um, it kind of a detached standpoint. Oh, boy, look at her getting scared about that. And her heart is beating fast. And, you know, like okay. watching yourself go through it rather than being all about the movie and so wrapped up in it that you like are the movie. You're the one being threatened. And it's, uh, you know, that's so um, true. Like so, you don't want to become the you don't want to become you want to be a victim in the play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you only watch positive people. You only watch people that make you feel empowered. And make you feel like, okay, they'll give you the straight up information, but they'll also say, here's what you do about it. Or here's the good thing about it. Or here's, it's all going to go well. <laughs> I love watching Tarot by Janine. Yeah, yeah, no, she's great. She's incredible. Yeah, she's really great. So, um, you know. There's, but a, lot of, there's you, a lot of great things out there. You know what I mean? There's, a, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's some amazing shows. We stopped, uh, I was talking to somebody the other day. I uh, asked, I, I live in Florida and my text was blowing up and people were like, hey, are you prepared for the storm? And I'm like, well, what storm? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and I, and I, and I honestly, cause I haven't literally turned on the news since probably the first of the year. You know what I mean? I just decided I'm not going to get in there. I'm not going to get caught in that trap. Cause that's the, that, oh, you yeah. know, I'm not trying to pick a side here, but that is a major problem. You know they're what I mean? Good yeah. They're yeah. Good at it. They're, they're very they're good. good at it. They're very good in there. So I was like, I'm not watching it. So anyway, so my phone's going up and I'm like, what's the news? And I'm like, so there's a hurricane coming your way. Right. I'm like, Oh, that's good. You know? So anyway, so but I'm like, you know, you have, you do whatever, but again, it just wasn't wrapping into the energy of it. Next thing you know, apparently, like a week ago, this hurricane's already passed, and again, I didn't. You know what I mean? It's like not even here. It's not even. Wow. Part of my Don't give it energy. You know. Yes. Be, be prepared and be responsible in life, but there's certain things that you know just are too. They're, they're just too um, overinflated to try to hit that sense of you that can really get you to react and go to a dark place, which is feed the dark energy, which is not what you want to do now. Now is not the time to do it. Yeah, you're just beating the dark side by being afraid. You're doing, you're yeah. Giving them that good old loose. Turn off the TV and you know, watch, watch <laughs> other shows like these. You know what I mean? It's better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just navigating through it with grace and keeping your attention on what you want more of. Yeah. What you, you know, really, it's all about that attention. You're growing what you put your attention on. Yes, you are. You really do have to have to stay optimistic. And one of the one of the quick little easy tools that you guys might might uh, adopt yourself is if I hear something like, you know, I get those too. I get those little, oh, you know, people who are, some people are really, really in their egos and they're really all about the drama and they kind of almost, you know, like that. (laughs) So, you know, they might say something to me and I, in my heart first for just a moment, but the first thing I do is I, I, I like to use like one word commands with God. And that way it's really quick. Um, I experienced that and and I almost got in an accident once and Archangel Michael was there for me, but um, I started to say, or, you know, and it was that fast that he already knew, you know, to come in. But I thought, well, that would have been faster if I would have just said Michael, if I would have been in the, in the habit of just saying Michael or something like that, you know? So I had this idea, just come up with these one words. So if I'm backing up, I'll say protect or something like that, you know, just make sure no kids are running. You know, that is so important you said that because, you know, the, the, the people, when they're trying to connect to source or whatever they're doing, they are going to go every which way they can till before they can get to where they need to get to. You know what I mean? They go in circles and circles and circles. And you see that happen. I've learned to do something similar like that. When I go into meditation, um, my trigger is, hey, okay, let's do this, you know, you know, mm-hmm. that's it. That's my conversation. Like, let's do this. You know what I mean? Let's go, you know, give me what I need to know here. And that's yeah. it. And I'm going to get right into it. I think that's important to know. It's like, 
like you're like you're so eloquently spoke the, the one word phrases we have to learn how to speak to our source you know mm, yes and what those whatever that is are. whatever however, however you do that <laughs> however you learn to speak to your source and know that that source is answering because i think if you speak and you can get that connection you'll know your source is responding back to you yeah yeah and i'll feel it when i say i'll, I'll like somebody will say the thing it scares me and i'll go protect or um prevent and I'll say that, and and all of a sudden it's like, oh, and I'll even sometimes I'll even get a, get a yes from yeah. the universe. I'll feel a yes, and so I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. yeah. So tell me, tell me more. Like, what what's your synopsis of, of where we're currently at with things, and um, how are you dealing with things with with April too? Because you know it's different when you're in a partnership. Yeah, we are. Uh we're like next level, man. It's, it's been a blessing. You know, this, uh, this show for us is like I said, it's, it's the best thing, you know, we get, you know, we're a couple, we get to do it together. Uh, we get to think about, you know, perceive things together. This, as far as what's happening, we're not even giving it any energy. Oh we, my gosh. We're really, you know, we actually believe it or not on our show, we stop. We really have in 2020, we really reported on a lot of that. You know what I mean? A lot of what was yeah. going on with the, with the, you know, the, this, this, the frauds and all that stuff. Cause it was very fascinating. And it's really, we wanted to learn it too. 2021, we were like high vibes. Let's go high vibes, you know, raise the consciousness, raise the awareness. So really what we've been focusing on right now is really just been nothing other than just raising consciousness, raising everybody's vibration, really getting connected with people that are high vibes. Um, Cause that's what it is. And that's what it is, is, is whatever you got to yeah. be in that, stay in that high vibe state, that other stuff, like be honest with you, Amy, who's going to, who's going to end up being holding a elected chair. Who's not, <laughs> who gives a shit to me any, at this point anymore because it's not gonna yeah. I look at it this way it's like there's a couple of things you know you want we want to be aware of which we're very caring about is like yes absolutely you know we're always going to stand out there for the children you know what I mean we're always going to stand out for those who need us the most I mean that's that's just what we need to do that that's our human obligation if you would you know as sisters and brothers but as far as the play by play it's too much of a mind screw you know what I mean? Yeah. It really is. It, and I think that's what's happened to people. So for us, like I said, how we're dealing with it is just <laughs> mock speed, connecting with high vibe people and just really creating all this magical world ourselves. You know what I mean? Why wait? Yeah. Why wait for someone to have to do something or sit and take office or yes. do before something magical happens? They're like, why would you, why would you even, why would you even want to give someone that kind of power? You know what I mean? Just yes. do yeah. It, yeah, that's, that's, that's how we're handling it. Love you know that. I mean? Yeah. 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 And using everything as a catalyst for your healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good that way. It's a, it's a, it's a better way to it's a it's a better way to live. You know what I mean? It's not being yeah. naive to what's going on right now. It's just taking control of your life. You know? Yeah. It's not being sucked into the vortex. It's not walking around like like you said, zombie apocalypse. It's not walking around like zombies and you know, eating the crap that they try to feed you and that stuff. You know, you just know you know what's going on. Be aware of it and do your thing. You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, so those things, we're, we're manifesting cool things. You know what I mean? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fun to work on projects with people trying to build the future too. Yeah. Really getting is. involved in some community projects or doing whatever you can in your own way to like, there's so many people are trying to pull together like humanitarian projects and things yeah. right now. And um, like, what do you want to do about it? What, what can you do about it? Roll up your sleeves and get involved somehow. The fact that people can talk about it, it's just an amazing thing. And I can't stress the fact of like, if you think like, you know, like people talk because we get people always inviting us and, you know, we invite people to the conversations and it's just, it's just your phone. But if you, if you get into these conversations and you get to do this every day, I would, if the world, <laughs> if the world were to get into like little focus groups, you know what I mean? And just constantly every day talk about something. Yeah. In a, in a week, we wouldn't recognize our world totally in a week we wouldn't recognize our world i truly believe that the healing the world would have would be amazing just by three four people sitting together and be like hey what about this what about this the next thing you know that energy just goes like that and if you think about that versus people just sitting on the sideline just watching the world go by that's not what you want to do step up and do your part we all need you right now you know we yeah, all we need, need your right energy now. we yeah. need that positive energy as much as yeah. possible yeah we do we do that's 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 what i think and That's you got to be careful. Yeah. And you got to be careful with your, with your friendships. 
Yeah. You know, we, we don't have time anymore for those toxic people in our lives. No, it's just like, no. no, you don't. Yeah. They're like nope. an endless hole. They're like a black hole. <laughs> you can't get yeah. yourself out of. <laughs> it is uh, it is spiritual survival of the fittest right now. It you totally know? is. It really is. You got to have, you got to have it together. And I don't, you know, and, you know, again, just, just sitting, sitting around watching these things. And I get emails all the time, Amy, like I'm sure you do all the time. Is that when is this coming? When is this coming? When is this coming? I'm like, Oh, God bless you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, your own, you know what I mean? But you know, I don't know, you know, write your own kind of thing, really start to yeah. think about how you can change your own life. It works. It works. If you do, if you trust yourself. Are there certain things that you and April do together on a daily basis that are, that help you guys stay in that high vibe? Absolutely. So we're constantly, me we meditate uh, first thing in the morning meditation. So the first thing is, is that uh, we, connect with the source you know awesome. what i mean to get the to get the the guidance or the direction for the day you know what i mean so wherever we're mm -hmm. going to get we connect with the source so that's number one number two is we get out there and you know and again we really really change we really made a lifestyle change with this too is really just getting out there physically being very active so we go and work out you know and then from there just we, we get into work. So we try to balance because we're working in this. So it's very easy when you're in your own thing that you can go 724 around the clock and, you know, just what you do. So we try to balance that out. Um, but that's it. We, we really do that. The show, again, it's just an amazingly healing thing because we're meeting, gosh, I mean, you know, like meeting someone like yourself. I mean, it's such a privilege as you meet the greatest minds in the world. So this is what we're doing. That's why I get back to, hey, if you can do something like this, you'll be meeting some great people. And, and through those conversations, you will talk to yourself through things and realize, oh, wait a minute, that maybe wasn't, I shouldn't have taken that so seriously or whatever. You know what I mean? You just, yeah. you just start to learn things. But a lot of it, I would say the biggest thing that I would really think that has been a game changer is the meditation, you know, um, is really connecting with source, whatever, whatever you got to do to connect with source. Let, so let that guide you out there. What does it look like for you? So you say, let's do this. So yeah. you do that. And then, let's, yeah, let's, when I, when I go on the meditation, I say, let's do this. That's my trigger to be like, okay, take me where I'm supposed to go. You know, okay. protect me, guide me and come back and bring, bring me back with some information that you want me to know. Okay. That's, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Cause I personally believe this is my experience and this is my, my own, all I can share with you is my experience is I personally believe that, you know, we are, we are taken or we are, we are travel at some point in time during during a meditative sometimes state or a sleep state and you know wherever we go or when we come back and you know because i know like sometimes i'll come back and i'll or i'll wake up and i'll be like how do i know this you know mm. how is it possible that i'm aware of this knowledge you know what yes. i mean and how can i speak like this how did i know that and you know my only explanation is that is that you know i went somewhere some one or something downloaded some information and put me back in and you know you know now now so now what i asked for is well okay since you're giving me whatever i need to know give me the playbook of how to say it and uh you know where to go with it you know what i mean so that's i work i work with it as almost like a team approach mm -hmm. for my partner and says my spiritual you know those guides that are people call them guides people call them angels whatever you want to call them but i work with it at that level to help that's the brother awesome. out <laughs> you know what i mean I and I think we're, we're in our dream state. Um, I always encourage everybody to go to bed, like on a really happy note, like yeah. as high as you can possibly get yourself going to bed, you know, to avoid any kind of like dream warfare for one, but for two, I do, I feel like there is a lot of a spiritual battle going on while we're asleep. And yeah. some people, you know, a lot of people are reporting right now being really, really tired. And when I felt into it, it's because they're fighting all night they're helping they're helping build the you know what's to come and they're just really really busy working really hard so they wake up and they're like did i sleep <laughs> see and that's the thing like a technique i use and this helps me too is that when i go to sleep i meditate to sleep you know what i mean yeah i do that I too yeah i meditate to go to sleep so i don't just go to sleep you know what i mean i meditate and then i can feel my consciousness shift i can feel it and then i go to sleep when i wake up like a lot of people talk about three four in the morning kind of thing i don't mm -hmm. turn on the tv anymore i meditate yeah. myself back to sleep you know i do the same thing when, yeah when i wake up in yeah. the morning I, I meditate for a few minutes to get started so every chance i got to do that and for me a lot of people a lot of people think about well i don't want to meditate because i don't know how to I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know the right or wrong way. All I can tell you it works for me when I'm laying in my bed. That works for me. I'm comfortable when I'm in a comfortable state. I feel like I can connect. So yeah, yeah. do what you got to do.
you know, shouldn't yeah, happen. From for me, it's also like uh, like detaching from thought forms. Yeah. So I'll be just laying there, and something will start coming through. And if it's if it's important enough, I'll write it down so that I can get it out of my mind and on paper for the next day. Yep. But otherwise, I just try to totally feel that consciousness again, like just feel the tingling through my whole body and just be one feel with that. Just let that feel radiate it. out. It's a full experience, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's cool. You know you're yeah. you know you're about to go, or you're there, or you're just at a, you've just You've elevated in some capacity, you know, mm-hmm. and it don't mean higher then, than anybody else. You just elevate it. You elevate yourself somewhere. Well, I think you can do that too. Like some people, um, they'll wake up at three or four and they're kind of panicked or afraid or whatever. And they can still, they can still tap into their body and taking, putting all their attention on their body and that aliveness feeling um, and like ignoring the thought forms and just by trusting the universe has got you. Yeah, you know, yep. so it's kind of, there is a there is a big uh, the, the biggest thing to learn, I think, in meditating is is having that trust of being so present in the moment that there's nothing that can be given to you that isn't what you already have and need right now. You know, there isn't a past thing or a future thing that's going to fix everything for you. It's all of it is right here, right, right now. now. Right now, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and coming back to that moment, maybe even snuggling into the covers. Oh, I feel so comfortable right now. I just love my bed is so comfortable, you know, just really appreciate and love everything that you can in that moment and get like really intensely into the sensations of that moment can take yeah. you out of your head and out of all that stress. And you, you can totally, you can totally, and people feel like, well, but if I'm not, if I'm not concentrating on what I'm fearing, then it may get me. It's like, like, you know, feeling like a, a an attack dog is coming out of the bushes. I can't take my attention off of the thing or it's going to like, next I look down, it's going to be biting. And that's, the problem. My that's the problem. What's happening right now. People are looking over their shoulders right now. They're, they're, yeah. you should, you're aware of your surroundings, but you don't have to live like that either. You know, you don't have to live in fear like that. You can live with their number one thing is to connect with source. I believe, you know, you do it for a living, you know, <laughs> that's what you do. You know what I mean? So it's uh, it's, but I, I, it's uh, it's the, it's the most important thing because that's how you, that's how you will know. That's how you'll grow. This is, that's it. Put that in there. When in doubt, connect with your source, figure out how to get there. Let yourself get guided and get comfortable in trusting yourself. You know, yes. you show these and it'll, it'll get you connected more. They work. I see people all the time. I, I you know, cause we work with people and I'm watching them do their shows and you can see them evolve. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Yeah. 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 I mean, all of us in our, in our own way, I think we're all becoming like in the 5D, we're going to be much more telepathic. That's the way we're going to be communicating. There's going to be a no lying because we'll see right through everything over there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in here. <laughs> and exactly. so, you know, developing that intuitive, you know, like leaning on, leaving on the everlasting God, you know, within us, the kingdom of God is within us. And if we can just relax and, and just trust that and keep honing that in, like it, what it, a lot of times if I go to do something, I'll be like, what do you think? You know, and I get a yes, or I get a, mm, you know, or anything. And so, uh, okay. So it's like this constant communication between me and me and spirit, um, except, you know, unless you're going through something like I just went through, <laughs> you know, it kind of knocks you off center for a moment, but you realign yourself as quick as you can by getting present again. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's, I tell you, if, if, um, We'll see. I, th- I think what's going to happen is, you know, we're creating awareness right now. You know, the people that will watch this will just get more and more into it. And, you know, we pray that it connects with someone, you know what I mean? And someone has double to do action. And that's all we continually do. And that's how we help people. And that's how we're going to get our collective consciousnesses together. I feel, you know, yes, you know, it's, we can it's turn exactly this whole thing around. We don't have to be out there in the streets, you know, with our signs and, Tra- you know, traveling all over, get, getting the word out, you know, you can do it, you can do that, but you can also be radiating out your peace and yeah. your love and your light to the world from wherever you are, just by being at peace and not feeling that fear. You got to work within, you got to fix yourself before you can start fixing anybody else. It just, it's, it's life. <laughs> I mean, you got to do that. You know what I mean? You got to get to work on these things for people. So yeah, you're right. Before you start putting the sign up and start yelling at everybody else, you know, working, you know, really work on where you're going and where you're coming from. And then that'll, that'll change that. But I, I don't know. I, I've I seen some personally, my personal view on this is I feel like there's some great tons ahead of us. You know, I think I really do. I think people will step up. I think people are being awoke 
of what's been around us, the blessings that have been around us to, and, and, you know, that have been hidden from us for say, and I think they're awakening to that. So, you know, I think there was that, obviously there's always different reactions. You see it, you know, with just a ton of protests, you see a lot of that happening to a lot of like, okay, well, let me, let's start toning that a bit to maybe communities building to, to mm-hmm. really, you know, inner circles to really start getting into groups like that. I think you're going to see more of that. Things will really turn on to yeah. a beautiful place. You'll still yeah, see stuff like- along the way. That's just life. You know what I mean? You know, you'll still see it. People will still, you know, it's not a perfect utopia, but it'll, you know, but I think you'll, we'll start to see more of that. Well, That's just what we could be reporting on. Hey, this is how great the day was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it want to be wonderful when we have news that's being reported that's just totally inspiring and empowering? People's Let's... deaths are getting paid off. And I just I just felt, as you were saying that too, that there's an element of, of this dark cult disintegrating, just, just totally disintegrating. All the scams and the hackers and all that stuff is all... And it's dying. It's like trying to like, you know, like in the horror movie when you think the thing is dead and then you jumps up at the last second. (laughs) There's some of that, there's some of that going on, but it's like, as it's all, it's, as it's all getting dissolved, it's like in the power and the momentum of the light workers building these new communities and a new way of looking at things and re-educating everybody and teaching people uh, proper grammar and rebuilding and restructuring everything. Uh, They can't do a thing. They have no power to stop it. Because yeah. there's just all this love backing it up, just pushing it all forward. It's Isn't like, okay, with the nonsense, let's just start building, rebuilding, restructuring, restructuring. Get to think about it, manifest, use our use our God-given gifts and start to create some cool stuff and enjoy the ride. That's, yeah, that's and be I'm excited. At. That's where I'm at with that. Do the victory pose. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. <laughs> awesome times to come. <laughs> yeah. So um, anything else, any, any other words of advice for the audience? Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Again, just, just, just really get into uh, just to reiterate, meditate, 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 get into that. Don't start it now. Start talking to people. Don't be just one of those that sits there. If you got something, just move through it, you know, and use discernment. This is it because if someone's talking about it and you're getting controlled because of someone else, that's not the way life's supposed to be. You should not have to wait for anybody else's to make their move. Unless they're your family, obviously. And if you're minor, but disclaimer, disclaimer, but, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's it, but you know what I mean? There, there shouldn't be any political or sp- other figurehead that should be, or any type of religious figurehead that should be the one that changes your life that you dictate your life around. That's not how you're supposed to live. If the yeah. kingdom said, Amy of God is within you. And you have any, if there's any part of you that believes that, then start living like that. Start living like that. If there's a part of you that believes that, don't be one of those that just say it, but you don't act like it. Start acting like it, you know? Step up. We all need you. That's Mm -hmm. what I would say. So where do people go to watch your to watch your stuff? Yeah, thank you very much. Spirituallyraw.live. They can check us out there. So that's where all of our content is completely uncensored. So, you know, we don't have to dodge bullets with the different social media platforms there. So that's a great place to watch us there, spirituallyraw.live. So it's like the uh, uh, Kashik Records of Earthly World, if you would. (laughs) We got great guests like you on there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That people can find out about what's happening too. So Didn't you used to have spirituallyraw.tv? Was I? Spirituallyraw.tv. Spirituallyraw.tv. We still have. That's where people can register for our email. So okay. uh, they can re- register for us on the email, but it's all in there. Be spirituallyraw.live is where they watch us. Spirituallyraw.tv is where they can go to register for the email. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. They can, they, can, they can check us out on Telegram. Um, so we post a lot there. We're on YouTube. So we're pretty much everywhere. You know? Okay. Yeah. And, and to find me, you just go to Amy Satori and look for the pink lotus on YouTube. Um, or go to amysatori.com and you can look at all my different services and things like that. Ember's number one psychic. <laughs> Yay. All right. So um, thank you so much for the thank inspiring, you. uplifting, yeah, yeah. wonderful it's talk. Yeah, yeah. talk with you as always. It's great yeah, to yeah. Connect <laughs> with you. Yeah, and I'm glad to see that, you know, glad to see that we're moving all of us together. It's great. It's good stuff. It's good to see this happening. So let's keep the train yeah. moving, right? We should do like a, a round table sometime. Like yeah, the, yeah, I'm down for that. A few of us. Yeah, down for that for sure. That'd be good. That's what we got to do. Yeah, show show what it show everybody what it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how easy it is to do it, right? Cool. Yeah, cool. Thank All you, right. Amy. Have a beautiful day, and thank you everybody for watching. Appreciate you so much. 
and we'll talk to you later. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in getting a reading, you can check out my services at amysatori.com forward slash services. You can also join me on Patreon, where I do a monthly energies reading, pick a deck, messages from spirit, and more. Subscribe to me on alternative channels such as BitChute, Brand New Tube, Huge Tube, and the Collective Super Channel if you want to be sure we stay connected. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or reach out on Telegram as well. If you're interested in some great health boosting products I'm a huge fan of, please enter the URL below in your browser for more information. Also, check for the latest updates in the description of my videos as I try to keep them up to date. Thank you so much and have yourself a beautiful day.